what are you trying to portray? There's a gentleman right here who wants to marry sports and tourism to talk about it. We're talking about Alvin. I mean, how are you? I'm good. How's life? Life is good. What do you do apart from what you just did? What do you do? So basically, um, I do co I coordinate an NGO. Oh, okay. And I'm a tourist guide, mm -hmm. and I do um, part time mm -hmm. graphic designing and then video editing. Okay, quickly, what really moved you to initiate this move, riding all the way from Germany to Ghana? What really moved you? So basically, since my childhood, like when I was in um, Sina High School, yeah, and I was just in bed thinking, like, um, is it even a road from Ghana to Europe or from Europe to Ghana. So according to my research, I did, um, I took the Google map, I Googled, and I realized it's actually possible to do it, to go by land from Ghana to Europe. So then I was like, okay, I would like to do this. I don't care what um, vehicle I'm going to use. Either I'm going to use a bicycle, a car, a motorbike, whatever. I'm going to try this because yeah. I've never seen an African doing this. But as time goes on, I started growing up, I realized there were Europeans who were actually doing this trip. Okay. But none of the African people are doing it. Yeah. So I put it to myself like, you know what? I'm going to do it, no matter the cost. So last year, I went to Germany and I met a, my colleague, mm -hmm. I, actually my fiance's um, dad, mm -hmm. who's in Germany. Mm -hmm. And he had a tragic moment last year, which um, the wife died. And part of the grief, we went for a walk-in. And he said... All his life, he wanted to ride a bike from Germany to the Atlantic Ocean. He doesn't care where it's going to lead. Okay. So at that moment, I was like, dude, that's exactly what my plan is. I also want to do a bike ride from either from Ghana to Europe or from Europe to Ghana. Yeah. Don't care where the destination is. And then he was like, okay, let's do it. I was like, yeah, we have to do it, but we have to plan. And I was like, what do you have to plan? Just get the bikes and then it will come. And I was like, yeah, I mean, at some point... If you have the bike, you're on the road, things start falling through. So, yeah. So I left Germany. I came back to Ghana. And two months later on, actually, I thought we were just having a chat. Like, you know, it's yeah. not going to come through. Like, yeah. it's not going to execute. So I came to Ghana, and then he gave me a call. No, actually, he sent me a picture on WhatsApp. Like, hey, this is the first bike, BMW GS uh, 1100. Like, this is the bike we're going to use for the okay. trip. And I was like... You were not kidding. I was like, no, I wasn't kidding. I'm serious. We really want to do this. So finally, the trip came on. Yes. Those are pictures we've seen on your screens of the driving all the way from Germany to Ghana. Yeah. That should be quite... This, was, this, this, this picture was actually in the Gambia. Okay. And I was riding for a longer time, so I got tired and I just mm -hmm. sat on the floor. And this was Mauritania, where we have to fill, refill the gas. Yeah. Which was pretty hectic because Mauritania wasn't having fuel. Yeah. So... We needed to do a calculation on how we're going to use the fuel. Okay. And then we got to this place, and there was the fuel pump there. But basically, we thought it's not working. So Stefan was the, my fiance's last name. Yeah. So he was like, let's go check if they have fuel. I'm like, Stefan, like, look at the condition of this. It's, <laughs> it's not working. Yeah, yeah. But because you could see the wires coming out from yeah. the whole thing. Yeah. I was like, I mean, I was like, let's give it a shot. We went there, and surprisingly, no, the fuel. diesel was working, but they didn't have petrol. But there was one guy who has petrol in the yellow yeah. the gallons, the five yeah. gallons. And then we had to buy that one. And I was like, really? Like, <laughs> you know, I thought like we're in the 21st century, so everything is going to be bad. Realize Mauritania was... So from what you're telling me, finally the trip came all right. You rode yes. all the way from Germany to, to Ghana. Ghana. Yes. What do you think you achieve doing this? Were you trying to promote Ghana as a country, or were you just trying to promote biking? So actually, I was promoting three things. I was Tell promoting um, Ghana uh -huh. as a country and as a single country in Africa. Yeah. That I'm proud that I'm from Ghana and I'm doing this. Secondly, I'm trying to motivate people who are scared with bikes. You know, bike has its own individual ways. And when you tell people, like, especially when I tell my mom I'm going for a bike riding, she goes like, okay, do you have your helmet? You have this, ride safe, don't go too fast, don't yeah. do this. So also, I was also proving that with bike, you can also do it. You can, it's not only with a car. And then the thirdly, I was doing for myself to gain experience, to know how to um, relate to people outside the, Afri the Ghana continent and to, yeah, to gain experience. Okay. Yeah, apart from trying to dare yourself to do something which is very weird, uh, 
every time you're trying to do something, there's a motive behind it. Yes, you're trying to tell yourself, I said, I can do it. Yeah. What are you trying to? Are you trying to raise funds for a particular project or probably going for it? What are you trying to do? So basically, as I said earlier on, um, Stefan was mm -hmm. doing it to let go of the past okay. and okay. then the grief that okay. he was having okay. because the wife died. So basically, that was the grief that he was doing. Like he was getting away the grief and everything. Okay. And for me, I was just doing it for the experience okay. and for the love of the bike and representing Ghana. Okay, you've done from Germany all the way to Accra or to Ghana? To Cape Coast. To Cape Coast, yes. Central Region. Yes. What next for you regarding this biking experience you're trying to go across the world? And what do you want to tell bikers or those who want to use biking to tell a story? So basically, my next action is to ride from Ghana to South Africa. You don't mean it. And then come back. That is the next project. Uh, Stefan and I, we have another project, which is um, we're going to do a car ride from here to Mauritania and then come back. So basically, um, we have the car already, mm -hmm. um, Land Rover, the old one, oh, the okay. 110 something. The we have, one, yeah. yeah, we have it. And then now we are going to start, I mean, I'm going to start building, of course, Stefan is not around. Yeah. So I'm going to start building everything in preparation for the next trip that he and I are going to do. Okay. But currently, I want to do a bike trip from Ghana to South Africa and then come back. I'm sure very well you know the motor racing stuff that it happens on the desert most of, of the course. time. Can you encourage yourself to be part of this? I mean, that's it. Riding well, a bike, bicycle or bike, bike. On, the, uh, how do you go, on the Sahara, the Sahara all yeah. the stuff. Has yeah. it crossed your mind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, literally, when we're driving, uh -huh. you know, they have, like, Artifact Road. Yeah. But I was going into the desert okay. to take a few rides yeah. and then come back into the road. Yeah. So, no, if, studios. Yeah, yeah. So, if possible, I can do it. I don't, do yeah, I don't see myself limiting. I don't see me limiting myself on that. Okay, quickly. You are trying to do, you've done this, or driving all the way from Germany to Ghana. Yeah. Would you encourage other bikers to join you, probably try and do something which will be beneficial to the society? Would you encourage other bikers to do of that? Of course, of course. I'm, I'm, uh, that's why I'm trying to do the bike, the bike trip from here, from Ghana to South Africa, and then come back. Okay. But, I mean, you need preparation. So, at some point, I'm going to put it on air. Mm -hmm. and tell all the bikers in Ghana, either Nigeria or wherever, I'm going to do this trip. Mm -hmm. And if you want, you can join me on the way just to, like, tag along. And then if you want to go back, you go back. If you want to join me to finish the trip, join me, let's finish the trip. Okay. This, what, this is the next project I want to do on a motorbike. Anytime you're going to do this, money is very important because what they like you don't do, you spend a lot of money buying fuel, maintaining the car. And they, what has been your approach trying to get closer to the corporate regarding what you're doing? Because believe me, if you have the particular company sticker on your car whilst you're going, well, you're selling a brand. Yeah. Are you trying to tell the rest of the company, well, hey, guys, you need to come on board? So basically, the first, the, the first trip that we did mm -hmm. was, um, was for individuals, for okay. Stephen and I. So okay. we didn't have any, okay. um, how do I call it, any funds or any, anything from any company. Everything came from your pocket? Everything came from our pocket. So this time, I want to tag along with... Like look for sponsorships on all the like the motorbike, yeah. the motorbike that I'm going to use, yeah. and then other companies who also want to tag along. I'm mm -hmm. just going to try get in touch with them and let's see if they're going to come on board. And then I'm going to do this. Well, this is Sports Director. My name is Phil John Quarty, and I've been talking to the gentleman who rode all the way from Germany to Accra, trying to tell himself that motorbiking is can also be saving, and also you can also help to do a project. We're talking about Kanto. And to tell me, going to South Africa, there's also the issue of going to Mauritania with a car. Yeah. Other bikers, what would you tell them? Why, am I, why must others join you in this very crusade? In recent um, months, we saw a couple of Ghanaians driving all the way from here to the United UK. Kingdom. They brought a message to the rest of the world. What message do you want to do together with other people through this of biking and probably road riding? So basically, I want to tell people that um, Africa is one country. And then we can all unite. So, I mean, there is no need for us to get um, separated or there is no need for us to fight each other. Because when you go to Europe, everything is one. And I wish in Africa everything would be united and one as well. Uh, well thank you very much for passing through. Probably your final word before we leave. Um, I just want to say to all my bikers out there, please ride safe. Make sure you have your helmet on. And... Make sure you don't drive carelessly. I mean, sometimes we do want to dare ourselves and drive carelessly, but what I could say is please 
drive safe and always put on your helmet. Thank you very much for passing Thank you through. Too. <laughs> but this is the show. Like I told you, at 19, I was here to be time for news time. So stay tuned. We will continue the show pretty soon. We'll also be giving you health and fitness regarding this high school fitness challenge which took place in the Eastern region. But for now, let's focus on other stories.